The inland track has been built as a long, fast, straight track for the train operation goals of the project. Normally on these types of tracks we would have to grind a, a special profile to get the high speed behaviour to match the train wheels. And in this case we've eliminated that process of grinding after installation by designing it into the rail itself. What this is about is innovation and the very nature of inland rail is innovation. But what does that really mean? What does innovation mean? To us it means continually asking questions. How can we do this differently? What can we do better? We've been designing this rail profile for over two years. It's been a collaborative effort between rail experts within ARTC and Inland Rail. And what it does is it changes the way the current design is. And those kind of changes are relatively rare. The first main benefit is obviously the cost. We're eliminating the waste of grinding the rail at installation. The second large benefit is after installation, trains will be effectively ready to run immediately on the track. So this rail will be ready to go. The current design is 20 years old. This design, the new one, does some great things. It reduces rail wear, lowers maintenance cost, and it'll lessen the requirement for rail grinding as we do maintenance on the track. That means a reduction in metal waste, and it also means saving hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of the rail. You can't be successful over 1,700 kilometers, spending $10 billion, crossing major floodplains and steep terrain without doing things a little bit differently. Behaviors of future thinking, active engagement. When combined, that's what leads to innovations like this one, and that's what drives success.